The story of Chris Chagros' entrance into the amusement industry all began during World War II. While Chris's father was off to battle, Chris's mother formed a friendship with another wife of a soldier deployed overseas who also had a son near his age. That child was Jean Dean. This chance meeting and their shared circumstance began a lifelong family bond that would stand the test of time. Over 20 years later in 1967, this relationship transitioned to business partners when Jean contacted Chris about an opportunity. The Deans were planning to purchase Colbert's Fiesta shows and needed someone to operate and manage the games concession. After a decade working in retail, Chris was ready for this next chapter. Starting in Salisbury Beach with just a few dozen games, Fiesta Shows continued to expand its game operation. In 1987, a spot at the Hampton Beach Casino became available. The family rides located indoors were coming out, creating an opening for expanding Fiesta Shows' game empire. This was considered the priority spot at Hampton Beach and would draw an infinite amount of summer foot traffic. The only catch was the location was on the second floor. Guests would have to walk upstairs to find the operation. This was a risky move, however Chris saw this as a challenge worth mounting. With a natural gift of knowing what games the public want to play, Chris also mastered the art of knowing what people would be willing to play for. His intuition was spot on and many of the plush manufacturers even showed Chris prototypes to get his feedback. One trend that he rode was offering holiday-related plush in some of his games. He started with Christmas teddy bears, offering them at Topps Field even though Christmas was months away. Those bears were the hit of the fair. The following year, not wanting the public to think they've run out of ideas, this time displayed Halloween bears to equal success. Chris also worked with many manufacturers throughout the 1980s, convincing them to move from hard to soft plush for their prizes, a style that still hasn't stopped since. A fond memory Chris has is once while walking on the beach boardwalk, he noticed a passerby wearing a Dr. Seuss hat. Asking the gentleman where he received it, the individual said he works for the company that produces them. Chris immediately ordered 800 hats for the upcoming weekend with the understanding that if they were successful, he might need 800 more every weekend for the rest of the summer. That first night, teenagers who normally would pass by the crazy ball games were lined up trying to win. They blew through the hats that first night and had to make an emergency call to get 800 more produced and delivered from Maine by the next day. No one was sleeping that evening. Gene Dean recalled a time when he and Chris were having dinner. He said to Chris, You have a Mercedes and no mortgage. What gives? Chris's response was, First count is the best count, a phrase used in the carnival industry. Where Gene would see the fluctuations of location rent, Chris was focused on maximizing the per caps of everyone attending. Chris's response was always, I don't care what the rent is, I'll get them to play and we'll still be able to profit. Over the years, Chris stayed on the cutting edge of what people wanted. When group play went out of fashion, he was right there to replace those with racing games, especially those from Bob Space Racers. Chris regularly quoted, I think we have every single game that Bob has ever created. Chris was constantly attending trade shows, conferences, and conventions to learn all he could to keep the business booming. His mantra was, always do your homework. The solid partnership between Gene and Chris was passed down to the next generation and now lives on with his son Chris and Gene's son EJ. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as we induct friend and colleague Christos Chagros into the Niapa Hall of Fame. Thank you.